some notes. We'll start with the objective. Yes, sir. Okay. I can do that. just in case, you know, wait for you to classes. So that TSWBAT stands for, of course, the student will be able to. And we've been talking about different kinds of pay. Um, we've been talking about salary and how to figure that out. We've been talking about hourly pay. Now we're going to talk about commission piecework pay, and then talk about the advantages and disadvantages of pay based on production. And of course, we'll define all these things as we go on, just in case you don't know what any of them are, or some of them are. Hopefully tomorrow, yeah, I don't know what my plans are for next week. Do you think you want to do another homework quiz, like over 6-2 and 6-3, and then take a test, or you just want to take a test? What do you think? I'll look at it and decide. Homework quiz, of course, you just use your homework at some point. We will still take a test, but I didn't know if you wanted to. Probably it will depend after you look at all the homework and see how you're feeling about it. I already have a homework quiz made up, which is kind of bad. I'm like, hmm, I may do a homework quiz. Okay, commission or royalty? Um, often it's called commission, but if you're in the theater business or music business, entertainment business, they call it royalties. Um, it's pay that's based on the amount of sales made. So if you're, you know, an actor in a movie, you usually get paid based on a royalty. You get so much based on how many tickets are sold and what the profit is. Um, if you're a car salesman, you work on commission. If you're usually any kind of salesperson, you work at least partially on commission. My husband used to be a car salesman, and he was that for like 10 years. And that's one of those jobs that you're either making really good money because you're selling a lot of cars, or you're making nothing, literally. So you don't sell a car, you don't get any money. So it's just one of those very fluid jobs and it's kind of scary if the economy is not doing very well because then people just aren't buying things. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one are called peace workers. Not to be confused with peace as in, you know, peace. It's not that kind of peace. Uh, these are people who are paid based on production. So, not all, but like, I had somebody come 
install a new heat, heating and air system in my house. I paid them based on the job. So it didn't matter how long it took them, they got paid based on, you know, putting in the new system, getting it set up, it working, that kind of stuff. If you are paying peace workers, let me advise you, don't pay them up front. Pay, you may pay some of it, but don't pay all of it until the job is done. Because sometimes you'll get left holding the bag. And they won't finish the job. They have all the money. They have no incentive to come back. Not all of them are like that. A lot of people are good, honest people and won't do that. But some people are, so just for future reference. Um, other peace workers are like plumbers. You know, I had a, a pipe burst in my yard. How weird was that? There was water flying everywhere. And so I called a plumber. <laughs> yeah, okay. I had called a plumber, and he came out, and he worked on that, and he got paid for that job. It didn't matter how long he worked on it. He was paid X amount of dollars for that job. That's a peace worker. Sometimes plumbers get paid by the hour. So it'll just depend. You need to talk to your person that you are hiring. Or if you're that person, you can decide how you want to be paid. Peace work rate is the certain amount paid for each item completed. So it just depends. Everybody, of course, gets to set their own. Or if you're not working for yourself, you're working for a company, then your company sets how much you get paid for that. <clears throat> I had a fence put in. And this is why I tell you to don't pay up front. We made the mistake. We were very young and naive and made the mistake of paying them up front. They did kind of finish the job, but they they didn't do like all the little things that, like they didn't put handles on the doors. Um, they didn't finish like this one little section, you know, things like that. And we had a hard time trying to get them to come out and do it. So that's why I say, but they told us what amount they wanted to be paid to do the work. That's their piece work rate. Yeah, I think that that's all the definitions. Okay, you will need your calculator, so if you didn't grab one, grab one. I'm going to grab one too. Here's example one. Again, don't write all this down. We'll just write down the high points. Okay, so Adriana wrote a textbook for high school students. And she receives a 10% royalty based on total sales of the book. The book sells for $47.95 and 17,000 copies were sold last year. How much did Adriana receive in royalty payments last year? Okay, so how would we figure out how much um, the company made? How much total was made before her royalties? Crickets. <laughs> the book is $47.95 and she sold $17,000. So how do I find out how much money was made for each book? Yeah, so we're going to take $17,000, here's what you need to write down, times $47.95. It's going to be a good chunk of change. Now, $815,150, is that what you got? Yeah? No? 